going on YouTube, GeoSnorite here today with an update to my tool called GeoSetter, which is basically a nonce setter for those of you who want to downgrade and you need to set your blobs generator onto the device. Now I'm going to show you how to download it and how to set your nonce generator onto the device using the tool. So you probably know the tool, I made it exactly for this purpose, to set the generator for downgrades on iOS 12 all the way up to iOS 12.4 pre-812, so basically no 812 devices, but all the rest can set the generator with this, and it doesn't require a jailbreak, you don't need to be jailbroken with Uncover or Chimera, or even if you are jailbroken with either of them, it's basically going to just ignore your jailbreak. So I made it somehow that is completely oblivious of the jailbreak you're running, and it doesn't interfere with it, and the jailbreak that you're running cannot be affected by it, so it's basically a very neat tool. Now, the source code is completely available, it's based on the Sockport exploit for the TFP0, and the releases are available here on GitHub on the releases tab. You press in there and you're going to see something like this. And today I posted a 1.4 update which contains a very neat button to set the uh, hex 16 ones generator automatically. Now, this is basically a very common generator, many of you will have it, especially if you have uncovered jailbreak and you save your blobs, but it's not the generator that everybody uses, so you're still able to set your own inside the application. Now, you probably know the procedure, you get the IPA file in here, you press in here, get the IPA, and after you get the IPA file, you need CD Impactor, which is available in here for macOS, Windows or Linux, and you can simply sideload it, I'm going to show you in a minute. But first, before you can use the application, you need to have blobs to be able to downgrade, and I do have them in here. I have been saving my blobs for this particular iPhone 6 I have in here since iOS 10.1 back in December 2016, so as you can see I have a nice collection of blobs. Of course, I cannot downgrade to all of these in here, but I can for example downgrade to 12.3 or 12.2, even 12.1.3 and so on, so for example I want to set the generator from my 12.4 blob to be able to downgrade in the future to it or to be able to restore when it's no longer signed, if something happens and my device boot loops. That's actually a very good practice. So I'm going to press in here 12.4 get the no app nonce in here, and of course download my blob. I already have it in here, so I'm going to open it in Xcode and show you the generator. Now, you're going to see a lot of text inside the blob file, but there should be one field in here called the generator. And once you find that, that is basically the value you need to set. So it says in here generator, as you can see, and in my case the generator is basically hex or 0x and 16 ones. Now, this is what I have to type inside the non-setter, inside the GeoSetter application, because this will basically be set in the NVRAM in the memory, and it will be used by iBoot to validate the blobs that I have in here. If I do not set this generator, the blobs are completely useless, because the phone will generate a different nonce every time, so it's not going to match with the one from this blob in here. But if you set this generator, it's always going to set one specific nonce, which will match this one in here and the restore will go through. Now as I said, not everybody has the 0x111 whatever generator in here, but many of you do, so now there is a button inside my application to automatically paste that, because many people actually made mistakes and they either wrote too many ones or too few, which would basically destroy the whole nonce generator, because if you do not have exactly 16 of them, then it's not going to work. So now there is a button for that. Now I'm going to show you how to sideload it, you connect the device and you get CD Impactor, you probably know the procedure, but I'm going to show you anyways. You drag it and drop it in here, the IPA file, and you log in with your Apple ID to be able to sign the file. I'm going to do that and be right back on the phone. Alright, so I'm on the uh, device in here, and as you can see, the application was installed, GeoSetter in there. Now all I have to do is to basically open it, and as you can see I have both Falza, I have Cydia, I have Uncovered Jailbreak and Rootless Jailbreak on the same device, but they are not impacted in any way by GeoSetter or GeoSetter in any way by either of these jailbreaks, so I can just open it, and it's going to ask me for a generator, and it gives you a hint by default, but as I said, it's different depending on your device. The uh, Chimera users have a completely different generator, but the Uncovered users usually have the um, Hex 16 ones in here. So if you checked and yours is actually uh, Hex 16 ones, you can just press that button in there, as you can see, and it automatically pasted that value in there, so that you do not have to type it manually, and this basically alleviates the possibility of mistakes. If it's not the case, you can just press in here and you type your own in there, or paste your own. 
Then after you complete that, you press set nonce now and it's going to get TFP0 and set the nonce with no problem. Now if it says TFP0 failure or failed to get TFP0, you have to try again. Now please keep in mind that this application does not support A12 devices, so no iPhone XS, XS Max or XR. And as you can see it says in here done, so at this point the nonce has been set and if I want to restore the 12.4 when it gets unsigned, I can simply do so if I have the blob saved. So that's basically how you do it. The tool I made, the uh, GeoSetter, is available on my GitHub. The link is in the description down below. Thank you for watching. I am GeoSnow. Until the next time, peace out.